YouTube, I mean, and this is Decent Curry, and you're watching Pokecast. Today's little fun thing is going to be a top 10 creature feature list. Now, I did have to make rules that way, um, you know, because there's just so much in creature feature that rules had to be made to make sure I didn't go too far. So the rules on this one what is it has to be an animal or an animal alien. Um, and it can't be anything I've already used, which, well, I only have one <laughs> top five list of ants, so none of the ant movies could be in this one either. So, that's what it is. This is a request from Stab the Cat. Um, he asked me to come up with, you know, what I thought are the, some of the best creature features. And, well, this is going to be my list about those. Got ten, uh, got eight movies and two franchises only because they uh, deserve it okay starting off um, at number 10 the first one that that uh, in, to be honest after about the seventh one I really had to think about which ones I want to put on this list without uh, using them because I will be doing more lists later in the future so this is what I got and I do apologize about the light the lamp I usually use back there is dead yeah so yeah I have bad lighting <laughs> anyways okay number 10 this is the movie slugs this come this was released in February uh, 1988 the director is uh, Juan uh, Piquer uh, Simon and this was inspired by the novel slugs written by Sean uh, Houston um, the reason I chose this movie is just because the movie is just seriously creepy. I mean, you have that eee feeling after you're done watching it. And really, when it came to it, um, the graphics were perfect, I thought. Which makes it even funnier because the budget of this movie has been recorded at $31.08. So they really went out of their way to make a great movie with what little money they had to make it. Um, yeah, these uh, slugs are uh, poisoned by, you know, radioactive stuff, so they become a little bit stronger than normal, and they will literally swarm people. I mean, these things are highly aggressive, and personally, when it comes to certain things, it has probably one of my, one of the most impressive deaths I've ever seen from one of the, one of the animals, were the, um, I guess, um, I forget what they're called, but... I guess the uh, bacteria that lives inside of slugs also get mutated and because this guy eats a slug by accident you actually see his eyes like burst out and everything it was really cool effect for what they were able to do and the movie itself is just fantastic how they uh, got it to work and you know not too bad of a movie at all I mean they just how the slugs work and it took them a while to figure out what's going on they're trying to figure how and that's why I definitely want to put this one on the list. Number 10, because it's not my favorite favorite, but it's definitely one of the better movies I enjoyed. All right, moving on to number nine. This is another one that took me a while to think about, deciding if I want to put it on here. And that is The Killer Shrews. This was a movie that was released back in December 28th, 1977, from one of my personal favorites, uh, Creature Feature, um, Directors, Ray Kelly. Oops, sorry. That's the wrong date. <laughs> I have it all right here, sorry. Uh, June 25th, 1959. My bad. Um, but it was directed by uh, Ray Kelly, and I really enjoy his films. Uh, the reason why I had this on here is because the movie itself is a unique one about, you know, them testing out some things on uh, shrews and seeing what would happen, and they grow the size of dogs and are extremely aggressive since the, the, the shrew itself has to eat so much now it's larger it has to eat larger prey hence humans and this is the one of those films that I really enjoyed what they did they actually took dogs and uh, basically glued on a costume onto them to make the monsters um, the movie itself it's really intense and uh, 
it just really kind of, you, the whole time you're sitting there like, okay, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? You, you get excited watching the movie, and that's what they did a really good job. So, um, that's what I really like about that one. And, yeah, that's uh, number nine, The Killer Shrews, from June 25th, 1959. Won't mess up on the dates anymore. <laughs> um, moving on to number eight. Number eight uh, is Tarantulas, The Deadly Cargo. This is the film that was uh, from December 28, 1977. This is directed by Stuart uh, Hugman and absolutely love this film. Unlike how it was in uh, uh, Arachnophobia where the spiders really get together to hunt down the humans, this is more just about a deadly spider coming out of Brazil and uh, making its home as a little town, but humans keep on interacting with it in a bad way. Uh, and uh, definitely one of those movies during the 70s where the golden rule is you had to have at least one child die in the movie, which they definitely do in this one. Um, they use a lot of real tarantulas in this movie, so they're they did a really good job at, you know, you don't really need fake spiders, which use the real thing. And when they used fake spiders, they made sure that they looked pretty close to where, um, to where I remember, I don't remember seeing any really badly done fake ones, but the whole movie is very clever how it's played through. And it's always kind of like how they did ants to where you enjoyed seeing what they were able to do with the graphics. And they did just a great job at introducing this is the creature that's trying to take over the world type thing in this movie. Really enjoyed that one. And it's just uber creepy just because of it being tarantulas. And because, well, I live in Arizona, we do have tarantulas. Luckily not where I'm at. But still, the thought of uh, having some poisonous tarantulas taking over a whole town like that is definitely creepy. Um, moving on to number seven. Uh, is a, an Italian film called Tentacles, and this movie was released on February 25th, 1977, and this is by Oliver Hellman. The movie itself is about um, octopus. It was a really well done one, definitely inspired by Jaws, you know, type films, because a lot of them came out around then, and. I like how they would only show really a tentacle coming out, taking people into the water. They're like, "What is? What? Why are people drowning? Why is this happening?" You know, um, I don't remember what sequence it was, but one of them, of course, following the golden rules back then, they actually kill a baby. Not something that's really done hardly anymore, but still, I mean. They're trying to figure out what happened. Why did the baby disappear completely? They couldn't find any trace of the baby afterwards. And the, uh, I think it was the graphics alone that made this one really good. Is that they didn't show too much of the monster until the very end. And it just happens to be a giant octopus. Really clever because um, not only do they have a creature that's enormous for its size, but they have one of the most intelligent creatures too that are in the sea. I thought that was a perfect match for what they needed it to be because now you have this intelligent one who's like, okay, humans, they're stupid. I'm smart. I'm going to eat them. You know, it kind of feels like that because the whole time you don't know what's going on except for, okay, well, we know what's going on because we keep on seeing a tentacle, but the entire cast in you know, the film are still trying to, what's going on? What is it? Why is this happening? And I think they did a great job at doing that. So this has been part one of uh, the top 10 films. Hope you guys have enjoyed and see you guys in the next one.